Hey guys, this is my new little home in Byron Bay, so welcome. I wanted to do this video for you because so many of you have been asking for it for ages. My no makeup makeup, it's basically what I do pretty much every day unless I wear literally nothing. Basically just from the point of view of just letting your skin breathe, but also just feeling like you've done something. I think with COVID, I was like, I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to impress anyone. So yeah, trackies and not washing my hair for four days and not wearing makeup, sounds like a great idea. And then after a couple months, you're like, oh, I looked really nice in that photo a few months ago. Oh, and then you're like, right. It feels nice, you know, to get up and actually just do a little bit of something. But also, I didn't want it to feel heavy on my skin. I didn't want it to irritate my skin. So this is for all the girls with the sensitive, reactive skin types, like me, that just want a little tiny bit of something that will just give you really glowy, some fluffy brows, and, you know, a bit of a lip, and we are good to go. This is my foundation, Derma Visuals Base Foundation Plus. And this is customizable. They make it to your color. So they literally mix the colors together in front of you. It's awesome. Now, this isn't a foundation though. It's, I think, more of a BB cream. This is my day moisturizer plus color. So it has no nasties, no preservatives, nothing. I just throw it on my face. It feels like a treatment. It just feels like hydrating. It just feels like a moisturizer, but it's got a bit of color in it. So it just gives you that even complexion that you want. You can layer it to give you like a fuller foundation, but I find it's really beautiful if you just do a really thin layer. So this is my little secret that has been saving me because if anything, my skin's better when I use this. If you do then want a little bit more, you can do the Bare Minerals, which I love and I've spoken about so many times. It's called Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Because it's got like that jelly texture, I just find it doesn't irritate my rosacea and it just feels really nice and it leaves you really dewy. So I've got a little bit of both of these on today because it's Friday. This is optional, but I wanted to throw it in there because it's really beautiful and I've only just discovered this. Dr. I'm going to say this wrong. I think it's Hauschka. I want to say it's from Germany. Yeah, made in Germany. Bronzing tint. It's all vegan all no preservatives, no parabens, none of that nasty shit. And this, it's like a bronzing tint gel. Gives you like a shimmer. It always makes your skin look like it's a little bit damp, which I find really beautiful. It's like gloss. You know what? I'll do a bit a little bit now. A little bit on my lid like this. Dunk, dunk. It just gives you this like beautiful bronze. And then if I do it down one of my cheeks, do it down. I'm so not gonna blend this properly. It's impossible to do makeup in a camera. I do not know how these incredible beauty bloggers do it. So I usually do it here. I do like a little bit, like almost like a contour, just like a little bit around my face. And I feel like really good to go. Every day, it's these guys. Then it's this guy, Burt's Bees. Just like a vegan, really, really affordable, hydrating lip balm, but it's so nice. This color is called Rose. It's really pretty. It just makes you look like alive and awake and feeling good. Concealer wise, I'm still using this. It's just the NARS Creamy Concealer. Everybody raves about it. It's the best. I have like a little bit of acne pigmentation, just like a couple here that pimples that lasted like six months and wouldn't go away. We know that feeling. I wear a couple there, a couple there, and I put a little bit around my nose if I'm a little bit rosacea-y. It is the best. It covers anything and it's dewy. So it doesn't give you that like, you know sometimes you get like that dry concealer-y splodge? No, it's so easy. Sometimes literally I'll wake up and just do a little bit of concealer and off I go. Brows, this is what I have in today. It's Ere Perez. I'm gonna pronounce all these names wrong and all the brands are gonna be like, we love you G, but learn how to spell our name. This is like my favorite brow product now. This one is color Almond, I believe, but the brow pencil is just the perfect consistency. So if you guys are wondering how I do my brows, cause they are not naturally this full, I draw little lines upwards, literally like dunk, dunk, dunk. And then I fill underneath because I like them being straighter instead of giving them an arch. And then I literally just brush Hourglass Brow Arch. It's the best brow gel. I've tried them all and I'm still on this guy. I had a little bit in already, so keep that in mind. And then sometimes I'll put it through here. Sometimes I look like I don't have any hair there. <laughs> a little bit of this guy, Ere Perez again. 
This highlighter is a game changer. It's not glittery, it's shimmery. So once you've done this makeup, it kind of just looks like you're like a touch sweaty, not too sweaty, but like, just like got that glow. It's creamy, like it's a cream. It's gloss, because I'm really over glittery highlighters. I just think it's too much. And then I put a little bit under here and a little bit under here. You can already see it. It is heavenly. And then last step of this little process is Inica Bold Lash. This is my favorite mascara. I wanted to find a mascara that was also conscious for the environment, but also amazing and also vegan. And I'm so fussy with mascaras, but this one is amazing. I find it really hard to do this on camera, so I'm gonna give it a go, but, mm -hmm. but I'll show you the result. It really, I did that. Yeah, it's happening, okay. This is my favorite mascara I think I've ever used. And it's affordable and it's Inica and it's vegan and it's really, really beautiful. So that is literally it, five easy products. This is basically a moisturizer. It will do no harm to your skin. Well, for mine, it was beautiful. So I really hope it's gonna be amazing for yours, but I'm almost certain. This is optional, optional. You see, I hardly even put this on, but it's beautiful. If you don't even wanna do a base, I think this is the best concealer because it so looks like skin to me. Easy, go-to, makes you look awake. Brows, these two are my absolute go-tos at the moment, I love them. And yeah, a little bit of glow if you're feeling it. But honestly, usually my day looks like this. They are my three products. Every time you guys see me on Instagram, that's all it is most of the time, and maybe this guy. So I hope that helped you guys. Hope you guys love the video. The next one I'm gonna do is my recommendations for foundation bases for different reactive skin types like rosacea, acne, etc. Because I know that that's one of the most frustrating things when your skin is causing you troubles is finding something that's not gonna make it feel even worse every time you put it on, you know? So that would be my next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those little notifications that tell you that I'm posting videos. So I hope you guys love that. Please ask any, any questions below. And one thing I wanted to also add is during this time of uncertainty with the world and everything that's going on, I just wanted to extend so much love to all of you guys from me and also just urge you to have healthy skepticism really just like think for yourself question things um and look after yourself primarily before anything or anyone else so i just wanted to leave you guys with that and all of my love from here in australia